It's day three of our trip. We are in Winslow, Arizona. Me and mom have been getting ready to shower, which explains why I look like this. And now we're going to get some breakfast and get on the road and probably go to another Walmart. What's the consensus on breakfast? Mm. Excellent. I already told mom, but I feel like I'm rocking the Jesus vibe today with my long flowing skirt and chacos. Jesus is always in. Okay, Winslow, Arizona. Great place, great breakfast, really bad internet. So we're waiting for my video from yesterday. Our video. Our video <laughs> from yesterday to upload. And in the meantime, we're gonna go to Standing on a Corner Park. And mom's currently looking up directions now. And when we get back from that, my video should be up. And then we'll get on the road to Flagstaff and to the Grand Canyon. Oh, and sad news. Um, this morning, we did some research. And it turns out you can't just, like, get a mule and ride it down the Grand Canyon. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you have to reserve mules. Um, so we're not going to be riding a mule down the Grand Canyon. Um, but it might be a good thing because there's a chance of rain and, and I don't want to ride a mule in the rain down the Grand Canyon. Um, so we're just going to go visit it and then and then probably go on to Las Vegas. But we will keep you posted. Update. We are going to Stand on a Corner Park. So you can go stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. All right, we're standing on a corner park in Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> it said it was a park, but it's kind of just a corner with a statue. <laughs> There's Paul. We're here. We We've arrived. But it's super cool. I don't know. It's like a little western town. Old trucks and everything. Route 66 roadside attraction. Alright, well it is 9.45. We uh took it easy this morning and did a rush. Yeah. Catch that reference. <laughs> um, we're going through Meteor City. Apparently a meteor hit here. We don't see a crater. But there's one somewhere. There's one somewhere. Um, they're really proud of their meteor. We've made the executive decision to take a little minor detour and go down Meteor Crater Road to see the Meteor Crater Landmark. And hope that there's like an actual Meteor Crater there because that would be super cool! We really wanted to go to Area 51, um, but far away. that's far away and I think fairly difficult. Um, so this will be our consolation prize, is going into like the first ever Meteor like site and impact site. Impact site. So cool. And they told us we can't drive fast because there are baby calves across the road. We haven't seen any yet. Yeah, but I don't see any. Okay. We just woke up a lot of stairs. Oh, yeah. That's the most we've exercised <laughs> yeah, on this okay. trip. <laughs> but we just got two tickets and we're going on a half mile guided tour around this giant meteor crater in like 15 minutes. So we'll check back in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a big meteor. Hit the earth, and this is the biggest piece that was found. And it made that. And we're about to go tour it. Yeah. Y'all, that's a really big crater. And before we get started, if I could have everyone's attention. There's <laughs> nothing. Um, we're leaving the tour from the meteorite. Kim was fabulous. Um, really cool thing in the entire world. Um, in the words of Kim, when we told her we were going to the Grand Canyon, she says, theirs is bigger, but ours is faster. So that's that. Wildlife. We made a friend! Hello! Quiet. You live for the camera, don't you? Quiet. Yes. We... I don't know what I said last time. We have departed Flagstaff, and we're on the way to the Grand Canyon Skywalk, um, which is about five hours away. And we stopped at Walgreens, got a big old bag of kettle corn, so I am pleased. Um, we're now driving through the first, like, green part of our trip since we left. Oh, it's greener than it was. Um, it's, been, it's been good. We 
we missed our exit and it's my fault because I was reading a blog and I was supposed to be directing. Um, so we have to go like 11 miles out of the way <laughs> to turn around and we would make a U-turn, but all like the little connectors between those sides of the interstate say you can't. Like this end of a U-turn, which is dumb. So. We have a few keys. We'll get there eventually. Now we're recording. Um, we have taken maybe the correct exit. We're not entirely sure if we trust my, um, my phone or the Atlas, because my phone has us going on roads that don't exist on the Atlas. Um, but regardless, we are taking this nice scenic route, and it is beautiful, y'all. It doesn't really do much justice looking through this, but it's just like open for days. We're trying to get to the Skywalk, and we're not sure if that's where we're going to end up. We feel confident we'll see some portion of the Grand Canyon. We don't know which portion it's going to be, though. The goal, the goal is to see it at sunset, but if that happens, we don't know. We've gone from pack mules to the base. <laughs> to, <laughs> to just laying eyes on it. To just seeing it, so we'll see. <laughs> Take two. Okay, take two. Yesterday mom couldn't record and today I can. This is about the sixth time that I've recorded a whole update but not actually been recording. But now I am recording because I see the red dot. And we were following a pack of cars to, well, we thought we were all going to the Grand Canyon. And um, we were told to, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it was little Indian children dressed up like Ninja Turtles. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, we were following this whole group of cars and then our GPS said to take a turn on the sketchy road and we're like, oh, everyone will be taking this turn because we're all going to the Grand Canyon. We were the only ones who made the turn. Um, so now we're on a road where there are no cars or anything for that matter except for little children in a driveway um, with masks on. But we're going to see if we hopefully end up at the Grand Canyon. Uh, we are all by ourselves out here now. <laughs> Completely and totally. Oh boy. Like the road we were told to take um, is closed. So let's, I guess, turn around and regroup. <laughs> the pavement ends. <laughs> we are having the hardest time figuring out how to get to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Which shouldn't be that hard since it's just a giant hole in the ground. Um, so we're gonna run inside this gas station to get directions, find our way. We just met the nicest man in this Route 66 gas station who gave us directions to the Skywalk. Oh um, my goodness, uh, God's plan is wearing me out. It's okay. <sighs> Goodness. Oh, I need this. Um, but he said we'll definitely make it there by sunset, and that's all that matters. I'm glad we have lowered the bar <laughs> on the ranking. <laughs> no pack mules, but we're gonna make it there. And we got to take like the coolest scenic route that is just like that's true. mind-blowingly beautiful. It is. It is. Yeah. So we'll focus we're on, on the right track. Uh, Next up, Grand Canyon. We hope. It's a cow. You're so cute. He's pretty. I love it. Bye, friend. Yes! <laughs> okay, we've just gotten tickets to go to the Skywalk, which is like a thing I guess you can walk out over the Grand Canyon. Um, but we just load on this bus and they're gonna drive us to where we're going. And then we, we get to eat and we get to eat down here. Yeah, we it's about a two hour tour and we made it here. She says we may not get to see a sunset because of the cloud cover, but we'll see. Who knows? So we came across this big hole in the ground, we made it. We made and it. some people call it the Grand Canyon, and it's, it's big. It's a lot bigger than that crater we saw earlier. It's like nuts. Um, I've done a lot of self-realization here at the Grand Canyon. Um, number one being that I'm very afraid of heights. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to cry or puke but it's awesome. Okay, we just got off of the Skywalk, which goes over the Grand Canyon. You're not allowed to take any belongings on it. And it was like the most unnerving thing ever, but it was the coolest thing there, ever. There goes the bus. And now we gotta catch a bus to go to the next 
part of the Grand Canyon we get to tour. Someone told us we wouldn't see the sunset on the canyon, and now we're seeing it. They were wrong. They were wrong. They said there'd be clouds, and there's a couple clouds. <laughs> okay. Check that out. Any other valuable possessions? Emma, I'm serious. Put them in my bag. I'm not wearing them all. You're so close. I wish you would go further away. I'm scared you're going to fall off. So the only downside about the Grand Canyon is we're starting not to feel awesome, and we realize it's because we ate an entire like family-sized bag of cattle corn. Um, that was our lunch. Regretting that at this moment. Oh my gosh! Look at the view. Isn't it great? There is a small child screaming in a language that is not English, and I am concerned. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Instead of dinner and a show, we got dinner and some crows. <laughs> hey, you like that? Oh, you're good. I'm very tired. I hate this. We're leaving the Grand Canyon. It's kind of sad. It was wonderful. We got directions from a nice lady in the gift shop to Las Vegas, and hopefully, we should be there before too late. We will see. There's so much wildlife. They're everywhere. It's everywhere. Oh my gosh! Look. I want to get out and pet one. No, no, no. They have horns. They're everywhere. That little one needs to. Get Excuse out of me, little cow. Get out of the room. Oh, look at that one's nursing. That's kind of gross. Hi. <laughs> Hi, friend. We're about to be in Nevada, which you wouldn't know because the sign is like white. There we go. <laughs> We made it to our home for the night. Well, I guess parking. And we're trying to park. <laughs> we just got to the MGM Grand. We're kind of struggling. Um, we have a lot of things. But we're here. It's barely after 9 o'clock, which is it's good. a feat. Yes. Looking at our track record. Best, best timing we've made this week. Absolutely. We reserved a hotel room on the way here. So we're going to go like little pros. get settled. Okay, closing out day three of the trip. We've made it to our room in Las Vegas. Um, we don't have any windows, and that's okay. We don't need windows. Uh. I feel like we've been, we've been put in the back of the restaurant. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We just kind of grabbed the first room we could, and it's fine. Um, We're in the West Wing, though. They make it sound really... They do. For, for a room with no windows, they make it sound very glamorous. Um, but I think we're gonna not go out tonight and maybe do some like afternoon Las Vegas exploring. Um, but anyways, this is the end of day three. It has been a long day. We went from Winslow, Arizona to the Grand Canyon to Las Vegas. And tomorrow, we go into California. And we will catch up with you. Then.